the OSS handicap hurdle is next. This is three miles, 0 to 140. The top one is World of Warlocks. Joshua Sutherland, Midnight Fantasy and Carnoustie for David Robertson. Sinatrione for Molly Etzer for Deadly Golf for Jim Murray. Brer Rabbit for Martin Leedham. Nacho House for Darren Thompson. Dolly and Molly Boots for Stu Gray. Mighty Sun for Alex Cherry. Scarfy Otti and Trebargo for James Follis. And Radio Missile for Alex Cherry. 13 then. Short run to the first. And over it they go. All safely over it. World of Warlocks. Carnoustie, this beautiful is, and quickly get to the second. 17 flights to take in this. Quite a few obstacles for them to negotiate then. They've already negotiated two of them successfully, and this is the third. And that one they go. The is pretty tightly packed. They go down that little incline. The world of Warlocks, Carnoustie, Dolly. Dolly might be the. I'm not sure that Dolly's the grower. That's Molly Boots, one of them. Is, uh, Certainly the great. It might be Molly Boots that's the great. It's World of Warlocks that's the leader. By about a length and a half. To the Robertson pair, second and third. Carnoustie and Midnight Fantasy. And James Follis horses run together as well. Trabago and Scarfiotti. Nacho has just the back marker. Rare Rabbit in the, orange, in the uh, green jacket. Trying to get up the inside, there's a long way to go yet. And the world of Warlocks is two lengths clear. Oh, Deadly Gulf has now gone through into second. Skip over the fourth flight. Not the really straight. Take this fifth. I'll over that one safely as well. That's the stand. That's the winning post. Circuit and World of Warlocks is the leader. The rest of them pretty tightly grouped, probably only five lengths, second to last. And World of Warlocks is in front. And the rest of them in a, in a right heap. You could chuck a decent sized picnic blanket over a lot of them. Scarfiotti just about the back mark where Brea Rabbit looks. Although he might be pretty close to last as they take the sixth. Continues to lead. The rest of the field very tightly packed behind. So they take the next one. Mighty Suns move through to second. Sinatrione is next as they take the eighth. We'll be racing down towards the middle flight next. And the World of Warlocks is the leader. Sinatrione is going to second. Then Mighty Sun and Dolly, that's the midway jumping point. And the World of Warlocks is the leader. To Sinatrione second. Dolly and Midnight Fantasy, Mighty Sun and Molly Boots. A radio missile and Trebargo. Brea Rabbit's getting a little bit closer. And Scarfiotti, Carnoustie. And finally, Nacho House. Just a mile and a half still to go. The World of Warlocks is still four clear of Sinatrione in second. Dolly's gone into third. And Midnight Fantasy and Mighty Sun, radio missile after that one. Molly Boots and Trebargo. With the back marker, Nacho House. Oh, the Warlocks continues to show the way. They're losing one at the back. Deadly Gulf is being pulled up, so that's the first victim of the pull up kit in this three miler. The World of Warlocks is the leader. Midnight Fantasy is second. Dolly is third. Radio is on his four. Snatrio is five as they skip over the 11th. That'll be the last on the next circuit. mile to race as they pass the winning post and the world of warlocks is about a length clear now that's all from midnight fantasy in second dolly has gone into third then radio missile trabargo and scarfiotti carnoustie nacho house is getting much closer then comes sinatrio and molly boots brea rabbit towards the back mighty sun is now the back marker the leader being challenged and taken on for the first time and we're losing another one about mighty sun is being pulled up this time as they take the 12th over that one they go midnight fantasy challenging for the lead on the outside of world of warlock scarfiotti and dolly 
clean that Senafrione is now cruised into it in the third place as they take the 14th they've got just three more flights to take now and World of Warlocks is back in the lead by a length to Midnight Fantasy second Senatrione is third then Nacho House Scarfi Otten Tribago next that's over the third last they go and World of Warlocks is still in front on Midnight Fantasy Carnoosti is now trying to get into it then Nacho House Scarfi Otti Senatrione then Thumbs Tribago dollies after that one we can probably forget Radio Missile, Molly Boots and Brer Rabbit. But it's World of Warlocks in the lead. We're on Midnight Fantasy second. Then comes Trebargo on the outside. Dolly's now throwing down a big challenge. Then after that one, Nacho House has suddenly got a bit flat-footed. They've got two more flights to take. And World of Warlocks has led pretty much all the way. Midnight Fantasy is second. Trebargo is third. Dolly is fourth. Then comes Nacho House. Brer Rabbit's been pulled up at the back. But it's World of Warlocks in the lead from Midnight Fantasy. Dolly and Trebargo. Then Nacho House and Carnoustie. They've got to get to this World of Warlocks end. As they come down towards the next, there's only less than a foot and a half to go. This is the second last. Now look they go. And it's World of Warlocks on Midnight Fantasy. Dolly, Carnoustie, Nacho House and then Snap. Trio down towards the final flight. How are they going to take it? World of Warlocks comes through in the lead, takes it well. Chunk there by Midnight Fantasy as well. Trying to come, come through nice Nacho House, but World of Warlocks is going to make it a pillar to face. Mid World of Warlocks takes it. Midnight Fantasy second. Nacho House third. Then Carnage, the and Dolly. And then Sinatria on the full trials back to Molly Boots. He was the last to finish. Pillar right. to post win for World of Warlocks. World of Warlocks are one of them for Josh the Midnight Fantasy for David Robertson was second Nacho House for Darren Thompson was third Carnoustie for David Robertson fourth and Dolly for Stu Gray was fifth